pretty cool road. It just wants to kill you though. Well, uh, I'm back at SB because I left my wallet in there. <laughs> We're going over to Dub Customs today. It is a beautiful day, and I have got many things to talk to you guys about my AMG. Oh, oh, I can see the sun coming. Look what I got for Christmas. I've got a pair of sunglasses. Oh, they're a bit misty because it's cold, I can't see anything. There we go. The one thing that I've noticed from wearing sunglasses in this car is the lenses on these Ray-Bans eradicate the heads-up display. Please comment below what the hell is that all about. So most of my video today will be done in the lovely and hopefully sunny Basildon where Dub Customs is situated. I was always going to go over there as soon as possible in the new year because I've got a few things to sort out. Today's video is all about the AMG GTS and mainly, why doesn't it sit on my drive? There's lots of questions to answer about the AMG and hopefully today we will answer them. I have made it to Dub Customs the first time of 2017 and their car park is, well, let's say, busy and inside my AMG is clean pristine and prepared for a bit of a uh, Wednesday or Thursday Thursday hoon F1 wax here is cleaning an s-class he has been working his magic with a new format of wax to go over the satin black chrome when you see it coming out in the Sun this thing is still going to look super chromey in that satin UFO style effect and then we were going to go for a drive I'm going to try and get as many exterior angles as possible and I'm going to talk to you about the car what my plans are for the car in 2017 and why it's currently at Dub Customs What a beautiful day to drive the AMG. Always makes me smile when I sit in the driver's seat of this car and just stare out on the never ending bonnet with a four litre bi turbo underneath it. And oh my God, like the suspension slightly stiffer. The steering is just so much lighter. <laughs> the BMW. Quickly, before we hit some good roads, we're currently driving through a heavily populated speed camera town in Essex. I thought that I would touch upon why is my AMG always at Dub Customs? Well, it took about a month to get from the process of bringing my car in in true blood to get it de-wrapped, to get the satin black chrome off the ground because it was a material that didn't exist. So we had to order black chrome from Avery, then we had to order the satin clear finish on top of that, send it off to another company for them both to get merged together, laminated together so that Dub Customs could actually wrap the car. And then being chrome and being double the thickness of normal chrome, if that makes sense, because it's two layers of material, it took forever for Dub Customs to wrap the car properly. So that month long process across October when I launched the car, it took ages from the idea to actually executing it to forever, which is why it stayed at Dub Customs for quite a long time. But when I launched it, there was a lot of controversy over was it satin black chrome, was it actually matte gray? And it is very difficult to tell in the wrong light, but F1 Wax spent another month working out different formulas of different waxes to put on the car, gloss wax, satin wax, matte wax, to try and come up with the right formula so that it would come out exactly how I wanted 
wanted it because I will be totally honest when that car was launched in some lights it didn't look how I was expecting it to look and I freaked out a little bit that all of this work had come down to nothing I wanted to go outside of the box I didn't want to do a boring metallic color or a satin color I wanted to do something different and on the AMG GTS which is a very different car as it is I thought it was the perfect opportunity what better opportunity to talk about something so boring than sat in boring traffic. I want to get onto some cool country roads. I've got 625 brake horsepower on my right foot and I can't use any of it. The roads have opened up. You can hear the rumble. It sounds like a old fashioned World War II airplane. And there are the sounds, there are the bangs. We had a little listen to an M4 sports exhaust from a competition pack, and yes, it banged, but nothing bangs quite like this. <laughs> the roads are a little bit greasy. sort of in anticipation my face that you've probably just seen there is just like is it gonna bang yes it banged <laughs> I'm the most indecisive person ever five minutes before driving this car I look at it and go wow that looks like a spaceship but could there be something better that I could be driving than this and then I put my foot down in it and I'm like, no, for £110,000, you, you literally can't get anything better than this car. It's just not possible. Oh. And I'll tell you what, we found a pretty cool road. Just wants to kill you though. been finding some pretty awesome roads. That one behind me there that is sort of right on a heath, I think is the right way of saying it, is stunning. But now I've parked my car up here because I just want to take in just how good this car looks. It's already getting a little bit dirty as is my GoPro. I've managed to salvage around eight minutes worth of memory on my GoPro. Uh, but my car is looking pretty damn good. sounds even better. So all of this sort of reflection that you can see is now the black chrome coming through. It is difficult to see without the sun, but once you do have the sun, it just pops on every single bit of reflection that we get from it. Uh, but still, in some angles, if you do take the sun away, you might get a sort of satin grey look to it but I think it's time to jump back in the car fit the GoPro back up and go for one last blast before we lose light and uh, I'm gonna go and collect the M3 we have got eight minutes worth of memory left on the GoPro and to kick 2017 off and to have access to two of like the most ridiculous cars that I could ever even dream of owning. I really want to quickly talk about the comparisons now that I've put some miles on both cars. Fundamentally, this car is better on fuel economy than the BMW M3. It is also, I feel, a better GT car, better motorway cruiser. This is a mild chomper. The BMW M3 is a mind-blowing car. I've got a pressure, tire pressure. 
higher pressure monitor on my uh, front left, and I have no idea where I am. But I need to uh, check out what's going on. Oh. Is this how you check a tire? Doesn't look flat. Can't see any nails in there. The wheel looks good though. Let's turn it back on and see what happens. It's still coming up with that left front tire. Rectified tire pressure. It's annoying. Well, that kind of spoiled the fun a little bit on the end of the journey. But anyway, first drive in the AMG GTS of 2017, under my belt. I do, I do like this car. It is a very, very cool looking spaceship. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start tinkering with the wrap and the aesthetics to begin with. For the next two or three weeks, I'm gonna start tinkering with the wrap, try and come up with a slightly different design. If you've got any suggestions, please let me know. I'm gonna keep it sat in black chrome, but I feel like we could add to it. I think we can add to this car to make it look, to make it stand out. Maybe just go back to the original AMG racing stripes that I had on the uh, True Blood. Let me know in the comment box below. I'm gonna head back to Dub Customs now. We haven't got too much battery or memory looking at the screen at the moment. So uh, before the sun goes down, I will be saying goodbye on my big camera, but now I'm just gonna get back to Dub Customs and uh, tuck this car up for the night. Well, we have made it back. The tire, the tyre looks alright actually. The tyre kind of pumped itself up back to 210 PSI, I think it was reading. Went to, down to 205, went back up to 210. So maybe it was just the roads that we were driving on. Uh, but I have to say, that car is one hell of an experience. With that power, with that sound, the way that it delivers it, it is phenomenal. And I do think, now I'm going to go into Dub Customs and start talking to them about various different designs that we can add onto the satin black chrome. If you've got any suggestions or if you're any good at Photoshop, then please tag me on Instagram or Twitter. However, it's best that you can get in contact with me to show me what we can do with a satin black chrome AMG GTS. I'm thinking F1 Patronus colours, satin black and all sorts of different other cool bits and pieces but it looks absolutely stunning in all sorts of different lights the reflections are amazing hopefully this video has done the car justice and now i'm going to hang around here for another couple of hours or so have a chat with the guys and then head back around the m25 in the bmw but this bad boy is out of battery so i'm going to end the video now <laughs> <laughs>